In today's session, we will learn how to use query string in ASP.NET. Sometimes we need to pass some information from one page to another page. So in ASP.NET, there are so many techniques that can be used to transfer the data from one page to another page. So query string is one of them. So let's understand how to use query string. So query string is a technique to transfer the some data from one page to another page and it is a property of request object. So when you will use a query string, the data will be appended to the end of the page URL. So when you will use query string, you can easily see the data in the URL of your page. Now understand the structure of query string. So I'm assuming a simple URL here that is using a query string. So whenever, as I told you, the query string are appended to the end of URL, first a question mark is appended to the URL end. So in this example, http your domain name dot com and home dot aspx is a URL of your page, and after that question mark is appended, and then every parameter that we want to hold in query string will be mentioned after this question mark. So here variable 1 and variable 2 is the parameter name and value 1 and value 2 is the control from where you will get the value. So if you want to use multiple parameter, you need to use a ampersand symbol. So let us, let us understand it with the help of simple example. Here I have already designed my page according to the requirement. So I have added two page default and default 2. On default page, I have added a simple of first name and last name control and using simple text box, text box 1 and text box 2 and a submit button. Now double click on this submit button. Now I want to uh, store the first name and last name in a query string and want to display the stored value on a default 2 page. So first of all, I need to redirect on default 2 page. For that, I am using response.redirect. First of all, you need to mention the URL where you want to navigate. So I want to navigate on default to dot aspx and after that you need to mention a question mark symbol if you want to use a query string and after that you need to mention a parameter name so I am using the first parameter name as first name after that is equals to symbol and then the control from where you will get the value so I am getting the first name value from text box one dot text if you want to use another parameter, then again you need to use parameter name. For that, you need to use ampersand symbol and the name of your parameter here is last name is equals to and again the control from where you will get the last name. This is your textbox 2txt Now move to default 2.aspx. Here I want to request the query string and I want to display the value of first name and last name, last name on this label control. So double click on this page load event and store the value of first name and last name on some variable. So I am declaring a simple variable string name and request for a query string. So for that you will use request object dot query string property here and mention the parameter name that you have declared. The first parameter name was first name and same for the second parameter. And the name of the parameter was last name. And concatenate both variables and display on a label control. So label 1.txt. I'm also displaying a simple message here, welcome. And then concatenate it with both variable name. And last. Now run the application and see how it works. So mention the first name here. I am mentioning the first name as Neha and the second name as Sharma. So when you move to the second page, you will get the value of first name and last name. So in this way, you can fetch the value of query string on another page. Now you can also see in the URL, after the question mark, you will get the parameter name, first name and last name. And the value is Neha and Sharma. And you concatenate both the parameter with the help of ampersand symbol. So this is the way through which you can use query string. Now understand the disadvantage of using query string.
So when you will use the query string, there are some disadvantage. First disadvantage is that the value of query string is visible in URL. So it should not be used to send any confidential data. And the second disadvantage of query string is that it can't be used to send any long data because it has maximum length limit. So this is all about your query string. Hope you enjoy the session. So don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.